the mosque. Rajan Babu, an amiable man, lived in Darjeeling. He took in a paying guest, Tinkori Babu, who had a weakness for Sherud. A few days ago, Rajan Babu received a letter. Be prepared to pay for your sins, it said. Faluda and I found that Dr. Mitra visited Rajan Babu regularly. The doctor didn't have a good practice and he knew that a letter like this would make Rajan Babu ill. Another person who visited Rajan Babu was Mr. Goshal, an antique expert. Lately, Rajan Babu had collected many masks and old paintings. Tinkori Babu said, I don't trust Mr. Goshal. I think he buys antiques cheap and sells them at higher rates. Faluda also came to know that Rajan Babu's son, Prabir Majumdar, who left the house when caught stealing his father's money, was back in Darjeeling. Prabir has a motive to threaten his father said Faluda. The case had three suspects. One morning, we received a message that Rajan Babu wanted to see us urgently. We found him lying down, looking pale. Dr. Mitra was examining him and Tinkori Babu was fanning him. Rajan Babu spoke with difficulty. Last night, I woke up and there was a masked face bent over me. Tinkori Babu said, I'm sorry, but I have to return to Calcutta today. I will inform the police. Faluda and I stayed there that night. I dozed off. I woke up with a jolt and saw a masked face. I was about to scream when Faluda pulled the mask away. Can you sense something unusual? Well, there's a faint smell of charoot. Rajan Babu was shaken when we told him. Then he received a letter. He opened it with trembling hands and read it aloud. Dear Raju, if you are wondering who I am and why I did this, I am the boy you tripped in that hundred yard race fifty years ago. I missed the medal and was seriously injured. You never realized how you hurt me. I saw your childhood photograph and found out I wanted to trouble you for a short time. I meant no harm. Let's forget about it and move on. Your sincerely, Tino. Tinkuri Mukhyopadhyaya.